once a bodhisattva becomes a Buddha, is that Buddhahood for only one lifetime or for many lifetimes? It could be many lifetimes also. Acha. Okay. It could be one lifetime, it could be many. The choice is always there. Choice is always there. And a person can say, okay, one lifetime is enough for me. I'm going to Satyaloka to be a co-creator in the whole creation. From Satyaloka. Satyaloka. Others can say, okay, I want to go again and teach. I imagine that coming back to earth and teaching would take would be more of a challenge than co-creating in Satyaloka. It is, it is individual thinking. But in Satyaloka, my life must be very easy, no? Nothing is easy, Baba. Every, <laughs> every loka is a challenge. Even in, no. Sa even in Satyaloka? Everywhere is a challenge. Because in Satyaloka, there's no body to worry about, no? But you have to take care of others. True. Like a mother takes care of her children, babies. Yes. How much trouble does the mother has to take? All trouble. Now in Satyaloka, you become a mother of the whole universe. <laughs> you, all these people's headaches you have to bear. Yeah. What about, it, it is not an easy job, Baba. And I think the most difficult thing for the, for the Bodhisattva or the Buddha, whether on earth or in, uh, in Satyaloka, is to capture the people's attention. Because people aren't looking. Work is there everywhere. Challenges are there everywhere. Even, I, this is new for me. Yes, of course. in Satyaloka, so. there's work to be done. There is great. Don't go there, Satyaloka. You will be caught in the work. <laughs> I'm having enough trouble in, in this in earth loka. <laughs> There is no trouble in such a locker, but there is a lot of work is there. Yeah, bur is, is, is that work a burden? Or, or, is the work or, of love. Or joy, okay. It's work of joy. There is no trouble. There is no trouble, sorry Swamiji. Even here there is no trouble for an enlightened master. Socrates was given poison, okay, take it. <laughs> <laughs> like ice cream. <laughs> if there were trouble, he wouldn't take it. So, so do, you, do you feel that the... That the, that the consciousness of the Buddha, of, of a Buddha, is eternal or does it, does it realize extinction at some point? The moment you become Arihant, you have achieved all the enlightenment. Yeah, but, but does the consciousness of the, of the Buddha, the highest level? Buddha no, 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 Arihant itself is the highest level. Arihant is the highest level. Yes, that's why you are called Arihant. Okay. So does the consciousness... Then becomes a teacher. Understood. So, but does the consciousness of the Arhant, does it survive, does it, does it persist for, for many lifetimes? It is eternal. Oh, so the consciousness of the Arhant is eternal? Yes. So is in eternal in form or beyond form? Whether you are in form or out of form, it is eternal, Baba. It doesn't make any difference for you. There's no difference between being in form and beyond form? No way, no way, no difference. From the point of view of, 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 the, of liberated consciousness, no difference. But there is no difference. There has to be a difference. There is no difference. That is, unlike, that is Arihanthood. Whether you are in the body or out of body, Arihant is the same. Body is like a cloth. Yes. Do you, expect me, do you want me to remove my cloth? <laughs> As you Nothing wish. happens to me. Whether I am clothed or unclothed, I am naked, I am the same. When Ramana, when Ramana Maharshi was dying, his disciples said, Master, please don't leave us. He said, where could I go? See, Same point. the disciples don't know anything. The what? <laughs> they said, please don't leave us. He said, but where could I go? That's what I'm saying. Exactly. The disciples don't know. Exactly. They have not become Aryans. No. But all Prima Masters are great Buddhas, not only Aryans, so they are Bodhisattvas, they are Buddhas, they are going out and teaching. 